Minus 30. Minus 20. Minus 15. Stop and go. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. 8, 7, 6, green board all the way across. 4, 3, 2, we have main engine start. 0, and liftoff of the Stardust spacecraft returning a time capsule with the elements of the formation of our solar system. Going in on time. The disturbances at uh, lift up are normal. It looks good. Tempo looks very good. Burning nicely. Main engine and verniers are looking good. On through Mach 1. Brakes look good. Attitudes look good. through max Q and everything still looks good. The solids are burning nicely, very symmetrical. And we have solid motor burnout and nice symmetrical solid motor burnout. We have solid motor jettison, all four solids came off. Rates were low at solid jettison. Attitude disturbances were light. Looks like a nice, clean, solid jettison, and main engine and verniers continue to go well. We're 14 miles altitude, 27 miles depth range already. Brakes are very light at this time. Attitude disturbances practically zero. look very good at this point. And we'll be looking forward to separation of the first stage at about four minutes into the flight. A tremendous applause here in the Mission Directions Director Center when the solid rocket booster separated. Stage one guidance is in. Vehicle response is light and normal. We're now 36 miles altitude and 90 miles downrange going uh, just under 5,000 miles an hour. You can see the vehicle leaving the coast of Florida. look good. Forty seven miles altitude, a hundred and fifty seven miles down range, and seven thousand five hundred miles an hour. And the first stage will separate at four minutes thirty three seconds into the flight. We're now three minutes fifty seconds into the mission. the fuel float switch, the LOX float switch, we have enabled MECO. 
Do I have Miko? Verniers continue to burn. Yeah, Vernier engine shut down. Stage separation has occurred, and we have second stage ignition. Ignition is normal with an oscillating regulator. Looks fine. Regulator oscillations are damping out. Chamber pressure looks good. Fairing is off, and fairing separation look good. No recontact. Uh, chamber pressure looks good. We still have some small oscillations in the regulator, but looks like it's burning fine. Pressures look normal on the second stage. We have very light roll jet activity. Uh, we have the Miko orbit page, which is uh, not really in orbit, but it is very, very close to nominal. The regulator has stopped its oscillating a little while ago, and everything looks very normal now in second stage burn. systems continue to look good, batteries are good, pressures are good, uh, full jet activity very, very light, the auto decay is normal. This picture now being relayed through the Antigua tracking station. Like we're processing Antigua data at this time, and it looks very good. The guidance system says we're probably going to burn about two seconds longer than BET, but that could change between now and SECO. And system has switched to a downrange site. It looks very good. Everything looks fine at this point. Jet activity remains very light. We're at uh, 100 miles altitude, uh, 870 miles downrange, and going about 14,000 miles an hour. Looks like we may be running a couple seconds slow on the predicted burnout, but uh, that's well within the nominal range. Continue to be operating at full chamber pressure. However, the helium bottle is getting close to the point where we begin a light tail off. Second stage will cut off at 9 minutes, 55 seconds into the mission. We're now at 9 minutes mission elapsed time.
Nine minutes, 30 seconds into flight. We're predicting a couple of seconds long. Very close to the nominal time. We have shut it down. Hydraulic pressure is coming down. The pump's been shut off. The accumulator discharge looks good. And we looks like we have a normal coast attitude. We have jet activity in all axes. Attitude disturbances at Seco were very light, and uh, we appear to be in a normal coast. Now an open loop guidance. We have uh, turned off the airborne command CRDs, Command Receiver Destruct System, and uh, shutdown was normal. The vehicle continues to be in a normal coast. have excellent data from Antigua. Data from California and Antigua both has been superb. We have an orbit, uh, eco orbit, and it's, uh, somebody pointed out, it's right on the money. We're off in decimal places on, in all measurements. Looks like it's very, very close to where it should be. That little pitch program go in. Those of you interested in the official range liftoff time, it is 210415 decimal 238. I repeat, 210415 decimal 238.